Can we make a battery amp sound any good? So on the table, we have the Boss Katana Mini, the Black Star Fly 3, and the Laney Lionheart Mini. And we thought we we're going to compare them and see if we can get them to sound any good. Yeah, we've uh, we, we've cut the uh, we've cut out some of the weaker uh, battery powered amps. We've gone for the three that are definitely the best. These the are big definitely ones. leading the way. Now, battery amps can often be a bit of a stocking filler style product. A lot of them, you know, the companies just outsource the the design and build and slap their logo on it, and it's uh, it's you know it's it's just something to prop books up. These three companies have taken it very seriously and they've tried to make a, a battery powered amplifier that you can actually seriously use, you know, for jamming if you're taking it traveling somewhere. And uh, yeah, these are the best ones. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna compare them and we're gonna basically see if we can get them to sound any good. They're all quite similar in terms of what they offer. Yeah, that's quite interesting. So it's, it's quite interesting that all three Whilst they have quite unique controls for an amplifier, all three more or less have the, the same type of controls. Now I will say Blackstar really started this a few years ago. They were the first company to make a half decent battery powered amplifier. And they've updated that since by introducing Bluetooth on uh, the Blackstar Fly 3 so you can play backing tracks and things like that via Bluetooth. Yeah, you could even use this as a speaker around your home if you wanted, it could double up. Um, as that and they've also released an extension cab which mm. I think is very cool so you can get double the uh, the power from the Blackstar Fly 3 but that sort of started the game Boss Katana Mini this is a weird one because this is twice the price of the other two these are both the same price sort of around £60 this is 100 quid. that's a lot of money for a for a practice amp when you think that a Katana 50 which is a, gig, a gigable amplifier is 200 quid. So why, why would you say it's more than the other two? Well, Boss would say because it actually sounds absolutely banging. The Katana does have slightly more detail than the others in that you've got two separate drive channels rather than just the one, but all three have built-in delay, which I think is really interesting. What a random effect to add, but I guess if you're sort of noodling around at home, it's a perfect effect to have. Um, you get slightly more control over your delay with uh, both the Blackstar and the Laney as they've introduced a, a second control for it. Um, and the, the Laney are, are the newest people. They've only just introduced these and they're Tolex. Look at this, unlike just doing them in plastic, they've put proper Tolex in this lovely grill cloth. This looks like a tiny version of a Lionheart. I'm very into how these look. This is very cool. And they've introduced their, uh, there's an app that you get, you don't get, but there's an app you can download when you buy one of these called uh, Tone Bridge. Tone Bridge. And that has like loads of backing tracks on there that you can play along to and stuff like that. So it's kind of, that that's great for a sort of messing around tool to introduce an app that runs along with the app. So they've all got their extras. The Lenny's got the app. Yeah. Uh, Blackstar's got the Bluetooth. Yeah. And then this is just meant to sound. This banging. is just a, a, a yeah. This is a more serious piece of kit. But it'll be interesting to see how it compares to the others directly because certainly that's how it's being marketed. This is a more serious piece of kit. Still twice the price of these. So in a in a sort of blind A B test. You know. So let's uh, should we have a listen? Yeah, let's have a listen. So we've got uh, we've got a Fender player, player which was our favorite guitar of 2018. It was our favorite guitar. Ugh, guitar of 2018. Right. Okay. So with the Boss Katana plugged in, let's try and get a clean tone. Then we'll listen to some delay, and then we'll listen to some drive tones. <laughs> So the Katana Mini is great for a battery powered amp. The fact that it could actually be 
Clean is something the battery powered amps have never managed to get. The delay sounds great. It's got simple controls for that. It's not too much, but it's enough to add a little bit of sparkle to your lead. I thought the crunch tones were fine, like as, as fine as a sort of battery powered amp could be. The brown sound was maybe a little bit overkill for me. I think that's when battery amps start to sound like battery amps is when, it, you know, there's tons of gain. Mm -hmm. But I think especially on clean and with a little bit of crunch, this is a great sounding amplifier. Like you're not going to sound better than this and it's plenty loud enough. You're not going to sound better than this out of a battery powered amp. So next up we have the Blackstar Fly 3. So let's uh, plug it in and see if we we'll re we'll replicate the, the cleans and we'll go through the, the distortions or crunches or whatever it has to offer. So this is the smallest option you've got. Um, but let's see how it competes tonally. <laughs> So I think the delay on the Black Star Fly 3 sounds absolutely fantastic. There seems to be just a bit more like presence and character to that than the boss, which I really liked. Um, the thing that lacks for me in comparison is that you just get one master EQ control uh, doing your full sweep of bass to treble, whereas on the boss one, you've got bass, middle and treble separately, which really allows you to sort of hone your tone and kind of especially to be able to do that based on what guitar you're putting through that. I much prefer having those three tone controls. Whether or not having three tone controls is worth double the price, you know, is up to you. But um, I think this still sounds fantastic. Drive channel sounds good. That, I mean, that's solid for £59. I don't think battery amps have ever sounded so good. So let's plug in the, uh, the Laney and we'll see how that compares. Cool, so the Laney is the newest kid on the block. Uh, with regards to battery It's fairly amplifiers. new, isn't it? It's not. Yeah, yeah, it's new too. as in sort of within like six months and it looks fantastic. If you want an amplifier to look cool in your home whilst you're jamming, then I would say the Laney is absolutely the one. It's way better than just having sort of just plastic and a black grill. This is proper dope, but um, let's Although see. So the Black Star does come in uh, Paisley as well. You can get the Black Star in Paisley in a blue or a pink Paisley, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see what the Laney sounds like. <laughs> whole thing felt a little bit less compressed than yeah. I than I kind of found yeah, in the other two like um like loads of voice loads of bottom end the lack of the tone control didn't seem to matter because it just naturally was voiced really well delay was a little quiet for me in comparison I appreciate that the boss is is stereo you know on, on the effects which is it's definitely better I just liked the delay sound being a bit more present which I thought the Black Star 3 had but 
looks wise this is great i thought the clean tone sounded fantastic and the drive tone is pretty solid Indeed. That's 59 pounds. So there it is, the three best battery amps you can get. What are you after? Clean tones, delay tones, drive tones. There's something for everyone from this lot. If you want something that looks good on a shelf, get that. If you want something with proper EQ, get that. If you're looking for Bluetooth and the fact that you get an extension cab for it, then get the Black Star. What a banging set of amps. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we shall see you very soon. Mm-hmm.